Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to the Faith Revival. So this hadith comes in the form of a father speaking to a son, which makes it very powerful. Uh, this is the famous companion, Ubadah ibn Samit radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Ubadah, as he was passing away, he says to his son, Ya Bunaya, O oh my dear son, innaka lan tajida ta'ma haqiqat al-iman. You will not taste the reality of faith. You will not be able to taste the reality of faith. حَتَّى تَعْلَمَ أَنَّ مَا أَصَابَكَ لَمْ يَكُنْ يُخْطِئَكَ Until you understand that that which has come to you was not meant to have missed you. وَأَنَّ مَا أَخْطَأَكَ لَمْ يَكُنْ يُصِيبَكَ And that which missed you was not meant to have come to you. And he says to him, يَا بُنَيْ O oh my dear son, I heard the Prophet ﷺ say, إِنَّ أَوَّلَ مَا خَلَقَ اللَّهِ الْقَلَمُ The first thing that Allah created was the pen. فَقَالَ لَهُ أُكْتُبْ So Allah said to the pen, write. قَالَ رَبِّي وَمَاذَا أَكْتُبْ And so the pen said, and O oh my Lord, and what should I write? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, أُكْتُبْ مَقَادِيرَ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حَتَّى تَقُومَ السَّاعَةً Write the decree of everything until the day of judgment is established. يَا بُنَيَّ إِنِّي سَمِعْتُ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمَ يَقُولُ O my son, I heard the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم say, مَنْ مَاتَ عَلَى غَيْرِ هَذَا فَلَيْسَ مِنِّي Whoever dies with an understanding other than this understanding is not from me. Meaning is not of my followers and not of this religion in the true sense. This hadith is so profound. You will not taste the reality of faith. What does that mean? It is so easy to talk about faith when you're not in hardship. It is so easy to talk about what should work and what shouldn't work. But your faith is really put to the test. Your iman really is put to the test when you get hit with uh, something of divine decree that you were not expecting. Something comes to you of divine decree that you were not expecting. And that's where all of that building up of iman is supposed to, to hold and, and you know take root when something comes at you and respond to the test and respond to the trial. And Ibn Abbas ta'ala anhu says, whoever establishes their belief in divine decree has established their belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And whoever destroys it would destroy their belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It all goes back to that firm belief. Now notice here that Ubadah radiallahu anhu is saying to his son, it starts with knowledge. If you want the reality of faith, you have to at least have the intellectual understanding. Spiritually, you might, you might bend a little bit when something happens and hopefully not break. You might have a hard time with sabr, with patience when something comes to you that would test your faith. But at least intellectually, first and foremost, you, in, you, you have the ilm, you have the knowledge that what has come to me was not meant to have missed me. You know why? Because what, what, how do people end up... Uh, letting shaitan into their lives. The Prophet ﷺ said, never say the word law, if. Why? Because he said that opens, kalimat law, taftaha abwaab shayateen. If you say the word if, it opens all of the doors of shaitan. Shaitan now has so many entrances because the word if opens so many possibilities. If I would have done this, if this would have happened, if such and such happened, if that happened. You're not going to have any time to, to let your iman take root in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you're constantly questioning, well, if this happened and that happened. The point is, Ubadah radiallahu anhu is saying to his son, come back to the realization that if you did that and if you did that and if you did that, this still would have happened to you. You still would have been in the same situation and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never, was, was, never lost control of the situation. Your iman has to be able to take root in that and you have to find comfort in that understanding. And Ubadah is not saying you're going to taste the sweetness of faith. He said you will not even begin to taste the reality of faith until you come to that understanding first. You have to come to that understanding that the circumstances are beyond my control. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has obligated me to do certain things, but circumstances are beyond my control. If you have that understanding, then iman settles in the heart, and iman allow, you know, you're able to taste the sweetness of the fruits of that iman. So long as you come to that understanding, things happen, and this would not have missed me, and this would not have come to me. All of this is planned, and all of this is in Allah al mahfud All of this has already been written by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm comforted in knowing that I do not know what the next page contains. 
but that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not allow me to escape from his knowledge or from his mercy subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to taste the reality of iman. Allahumma ameen. See you all next time inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.